we wanted to get to the bottom of what's really important here, like why do onions make you cry in the first place? Here to help us answer that question is mega best-selling author Mark Kurlansky, who wrote The Core of an Onion, Peeling the Rarest Common Food, featuring more than 100 historical recipes. Mark, good morning. Thank you very much for being here. I've been reading you for a long time. Never on the topic of onions, though, although we both cook, apparently. I like that. So can you, can you answer the big question, why do onions make human beings tear up? It's a defense mechanism, unusual for a vegetable. <laughs> they spit in your eye. Wow. Uh, they send a, a sulfuric gas up that's very unstable and changes a lot, and it's attracted to the moisture in your eye. And when it hits your eye, it turns into sulfuric acid. And so the onion is hoping that we will stop cutting it and not eat it at all. Yes, it works, <laughs> really? on, other, it works on other mammals. You know, oh. you have a garden, rabbits and things will go in and eat your vegetables, but they won't eat your onions but only humans are willing to pay the price. We power through. We really do. And sometimes you think you cannot cry. Like, I'll be like, I'm not going to cry this time as if I could control it. And by the end, I'm just weeping. <laughs> yes, it's So true. there are things that can be done to prevent crying or at least reduce crying. What do you recommend? Um, well, for starters, wear glasses. We uh, have the glasses. Let's try it. Regular glasses or goggles? Well, if you have onion goggles, I see you have onion goggles. Are these onion, onion goggles? goggles? These are onion goggles? Those wow. Are onion goggles. How, how many onions do you need to put? This is, you might be using too many onions if you have onion goggles, but here we go. Let's onion see how goggles it works. Look All right, very let's cool. see if they work. Yeah. All right. I'm, I, unfortunately, I cannot cho uh, chop while sitting. I have, to oh. do, I have to stand and chop. All right, let's see your skills, Tony. Yeah. Well, I don't know about this knife. It's not you my. You put the goggles further up. Oh, really? Oh, sorry. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah so oh, I can yeah, protect I it. Here we go. It's coming in. I'm good. I don't feel anything coming in oh i smell it though oh, here we go smell it in the nose the smell of onions isn't related to oh this, this is thing. actually like a great sensation because i'm expecting to start to cry and i'm not <laughs> okay well what else do you recommend mark uh well the the sulfur is attracted to the moisture in your eyes so it's attracted to moisture so if you have any kind of water running water would be best but anything wet around would uh Deflect some. So, of any water around, even like a wet napkin like this, that will or help. a cup of water, will really help reduce right, it. Let me napkin. take the. Here's the wet napkin. Let me see if the, how the wet napkin works. Oh, uh, you're going to be sorry you took your goggles off. I, well, because I, I want to be able to test the napkin. <laughs> I need to control my variables. It's still pretty decent. Is my cup in the way, guys? I'm going to move this. I should say also that it's, uh, it helps to have a really sharp knife. It really does help to have a yeah. sharp knife. Um, so uh, on social media, there are lots of pictures of me looking ridiculous in onion goggles. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> there are lots of- There will be there on will my be. social media. <laughs> there are suggestions for how to avoid oh crying. <laughs> does this one work here? Is that a clear pan? That That's the, the lid of a pan stuffed into a hoodie. Is that what people at home can do also, Mark? Uh, I've never tried that. Looks kind of uncomfortable, but might work. <laughs> you, you say there are some that definitely will not work. What are those? Yes, uh, you know, a, a match in your mouth, a piece of bread in your mouth. Oh, people a, do that? A wooden spoon. Um, there's no scientific reason why it would, and it doesn't. So this onion has been refrigerated. Does that yeah, help? this one's cold. That helps because oh. uh, cold slows down processes. Hmm. Are there certain onions that create that are more likely to create tears like sweet onions versus red onions versus white onions yes sweet onions will create less tears um but you know onions whoa oh get in there tony <laughs> snipe's been messing around at all with seen no. better days uh, all right here we go he's a professional um onions are, are a bit like wine grapes they're, they're different depending on where they grow, depending on the soil and the climate where they grow. So the refrigerated move really does work. Uh, that, that, I can, this is, it, there's really no effect. Really? However, you know, if you're cooking with it, I guess it doesn't matter you're refrigerating it, but if you're making it for like a little bit of a salad yeah. or a salsa or something. And in your book, you talk about like the history of onions and how different cultures, uh, you know, treated onions. What did onions mean for the ancient Egyptians, for example? Well, the Egyptians were fascinated by the structure, the circles. Uh, they saw this as a symbol of uh, eternal life. Oh. Uh, and so they, they put them in, in tombs. Um, they uh, also may have thought that they had preservative qualities. Oh, I think they do. I feel like they're medicinal. Well, Mark, but a lot of people thought, I mean, Hippocrates is on your side. There you go. Yet again. Mark, thank you so much <laughs> for being here and explaining all of this to us.